Okay, um, what I did here, we're putting these in next. These uh, these uh, multiple positioning switches. Uh, it's kind of hard to solder them in. Trying to use the soldering stand and all that. So what I did is had my solder brought it over and I tacked one side here and one side here and did that on both of them. Now I can put it in my uh, soldering stand and go around and get, and get a good uh, solder on all of them and then the ones that I came in originally I can go over them and just even make them a little bit thicker. But at least the thing is they're in there and they're tight and they're solid so I don't have to worry about them bouncing around while I'm trying to uh, solder them in. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to, I'm going to go around and, uh, and, just, and just solder all the points there. Alrighty. Uh, I had to change tapes, you know, naturally. And um, I finished the uh, substitution box. Uh, basically, and we talked about this. Uh, I, those little, those little uh, extra pieces that we cut off of the leads, they became jumpers. You can see that there. They became jumpers, and I put them in. And all that does is that uh, lets the switch go from one side to the other. Now I, um, I was going to test the, uh, kind of go over and make sure it was okay. I was going to use my meter. This is the best meter I've ever had. This is a great meter, but it really like it. It's a hungry meter, and it likes to eat batteries. So uh, you have to. My batteries are low. I got to charge more up. So what I thought I'd do is uh, put it on a small tank circuit, and uh, what I'd really rather do is is do another video. Uh, showing how it works and uh, going into that a little bit more but basically like I said I I did this put the jumpers on uh, put it in the box put it all together and when I get my meter right so I can do some readings then I'll, I'll go over this and actually make sure everything's reading pretty good and then I think the next video uh, would be let's just uh, let's make a tank circuit and uh, and use it and switch it around and, and find what would be the best uh, uh, capacitor for you know this frequency and, and it does work a little bit I don't know if uh, let me let me turn here see if I can get the scope okay everything's on the way here let me there, there's my scope. Okay, there's my scope. And I'm just going to click around, and you'll see that, that it does, there is a difference. So you get some different readings, and I, I just threw this together. I don't have a, I don't have the coil that I want to have right at the moment. And if I, now this is on the Pica. If I flip it over to the, uh, to the micro it goes right down so see there the two sides are working so I know that's good and like I said we'll mess with that with that later on I uh, right now I'm just I set it up real quick I just uh, I had several coils here I was trying and none of them really worked the way I wanted them to so okay so I think we'll Hold it right there for now, and then, like I said, I'm going to uh, let me put a coil together and, and get this set up, and we'll do a little tank circuit, and we can see this actually uh, work in operation. Okay, yeah. Um, when we uh, come back here in the next one, we'll we'll do several things. Maybe we can uh, we'll look at the tank circuit, and then uh, and and use it for coupling. We'll see what happens if we use it as a uh, as a coupler between uh, an input and a, a small amplifier that we build. So uh, 
Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, this is uh, Christmas time, so I hope all of you have a very Merry Christmas and a fantastic New Year. And, uh, and we'll see you in the next video.